Meet Jack. Jack is 32 year old businessman researching about Vietnamese coffee industry in Vietnam. Unfortunately, he's hit with a language barrier. Sorry, meet Sophia as well. Um, Sophia is on so 45 year old tourist from Spain and she's traveling with her husband in Vietnam and is struggling to understand the local culture. Um, in 2018, there were 15 million people traveling to Vietnam for exactly the same thing. Meanwhile, the tourism industry infrastructures is failing. It's crying out for a new innovative platform that helps bringing travelers closer to the local. All of those challenges can be solved by having a platform that pro uh, promotes spending time with the local people, um, offers customizable journeys and allow you to pay securely online. I am Annie, CEO of Tubert, the innovative platform that offers a unique and limitless service by connecting travelers to local buddies. And by my side is Ethan, our CTO, our tech guy. He's a true full stack from back end, front end, middle end, blockchain, AI, you name it, he's done it all. And in the middle is Anthony, our COO, bringing in the Western perspective with an excellent standard of customer service. Together with us, we are so lucky to have three advisors that are helping us on market adoption, strategic planning and finance. So who are these um, local buddies that we're talking about? So the local buddies are the local people who live and understand their city. They're great at different languages, not just English, but also Spanish, French, Chinese or Korean. Um, and then they own vetted securely by our team. There we have more than 400 local buddies in Vietnam. This is our app uh, currently in pilot mode. We've been gathering users test results um, to prepare for our alpha version. So I get this asked these questions a lot. How can you guarantee my safety when I travel? When people travel, they like to feel safe. So we take this issue very seriously and have come up with the three step vet. Step one, we verify they are who they say they are. Step two, we grade the language in a two to five minutes test. Step three, they have to upload all the travel related media, um, including the 60 seconds video about themselves. So this is how Tubert works. The local body set the rate themselves. We charge 25% of the total amount. The local body get exactly how much they want to earn. Our customers are travelers. They can be either travelers for leisure or travelers for business. The people who travel for leisure tend to go discover more interesting places, but not too touristic. The people who travel for business, they have more money, but less time. So they want to have a local personal assistant to help them. So this is our market size. We focus in Vietnam as a destination and there is 180 million US dollars spent in Vietnam for extra activities, uh, small tours, local guys, interpreters and so on. We're aiming for a niche market, which is Korean travelers to Vietnam, which accounts for 30% of that market. And this is the reason why we chose South Korea to be our market. There are 3 million people coming to Vietnam every year from South Korea. To reach them, we created a go-to uh, market plan, which including own traction channels specifically for Korean travelers, including Naver, Kakao Talk, micro-influencers too. And this is what sets us apart. Multi-language platform that focuses on connecting humans to humans. Unlike our competitors, we also help provide business travelers to connect them with the local buddies to help them to save time, effort and money. Tubert was born in Manchester, UK. After six months of researching, we decided to move to Vietnam due to the enormous increase in tourism industry. August last year, we joined in Vietnam Silicon Valley Accelerator for program. In February, we were sponsored by Lotte Accelerator to expand our business in Korea. And up to date now, our revenue is 120,000 US dollars. This is our projected performance over the next five years. And these are the new features that we want to put in uh, the app on the next versions. We are currently raising 500,000 US dollars based on post money valuation for 12.5% equity. Uh, we will allocate 50% of these funds for human resources, including hiring experts in technology, tourism, and marketing. 40% of them will be for marketing itself, 10% for admin costs. So guys, who's ready to revolutionize the way the world travel with us? 
Thank you. So you launched the app bodies already or just in the trial phases? Uh, it's in pilot mode, yes. Okay. What are the, what are the core uh, service in that app? Um, so the core service is we connect um, local buddies to travelers. So the travelers will be able to go in the app and to based on what they want, where they want to go, uh, what the date, what they feel like, and they can choose the perfect person, the perfect local buddy for them to assist them on the day, half day or full days when they visit a, you know, a local place or a new city or new country. Okay. So besides that service, what are other scope of service do you think you can add on that? Um, to be honest with you, there are so many for the ecosystem um, that we can work on. Right now, we also help them on visa. Um, so specifically for visa to Vietnam, for travelers to Vietnam. And uh, some of the customers that we have are actually Vietnamese customers that want to go abroad to other countries that uses our platform. Um, so that's why we also have local buddies in other 14 countries as well. And um, also another one is uh, cars, um, transportation, uh, individuals or booking uh, drivers that speak English la language or uh, good other languages uh, that can have uh, transportation to help. So there's a lot of uh, services that we build around it as well. So why not you develop a marketplace for the tour, the local tour? Um, do you mean like the local travel agency? It's kind of a portal for the local tour that any foreigner when they come to Vietnam they can go to that database and find the most suitable tour to, for them. In each province it can kind of entertainment, uh, go to the seaside for example, or go to the cruise for dinner. Um, so we, um, this is come back to the very first reason why we create Tubert. Uh, we uh, emphasize this on the human connection and we don't sell the tours package to the people. And I believe if I can sell 100 tour package or 200 tour package, it's still a limit number, limited number. If we go on connecting a person to person, that would be limitless services that we can provide and a lot of different uses case um, on the app that we haven't seen. You guys want to ask about this? Yeah, I'd like to um, to elaborate. I um, mean, it's already been done. What you'd mentioned is a platform for tour operators to provide that service. Um, you're probably aware of a lot of them that are in Vietnam right now. What's the Vietnamese one called? Uh, Trip Me. It's quite a big, famous Vietnamese company. Um, so it's already been done. So we're trying to bring a new twist to that tourism industry. People like to search for things by hashtag on Twitter and Instagram. So we're basically implementing that sort of search mechanism to our app so that our customers can search for what they want to do through hashtags. So each picture or video that a, a local buddy will upload to their profile will have a hashtag or hashtags associated with it so that when the buddy um, uploads the picture, the customers can then see exactly what they're searching for. So for example, if I hashtag Hanoi and food, any picture that's associated with those hashtags will appear up. If you were to win the competition, how would you use the prize money? Oh. <laughs> um, to, to be honest with you, to say that we join in the competition without thinking of money is not right. Um, but we did not really put a lot of thinking of it just so that, you know, that's not a goal that we join in this competition. We believe that we learn a lot along the way and we, we experience um, a new things when we, you know, if we can success, success here and when we go to... Boston or you know if we go to Boston um, so the money would be goes to um, right now we have a lot of traction channels that we want to try out um, in order to find the formula that works for us and um, so we want to put a lot of money in towards um, the, these traction channels in order to create a, a big jump a leap in marketing plan um, and also a um, small part of that would also a uh, 30 percent of that would also go to um, human resources and tech uh, technology in order to really uh, finalize, um, you know, the smooth products of that we have. Thank you. Um, hey, um, great presentation, by the way. I just have one quick question. You clearly know Trip.me yes. is not very, um, you know, strange to you. Trip.me have done basically the same thing of what you have done for several years, not just now they've done it for four or five years already. However, for some reason it, that didn't take off and they have to pivot their business model several times. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what's, what give you the confidence that you can, you know, take this model off? I believe so, like five years ago, there's only 7 million people coming to Vietnam. 
which is half of what we have right now. The tourism industry only take off um, about five years ago. It, it, it increased about 22 to 30 percent and projected to go for up to 40 percent every year for the next 10 years. And that is one of the reasons why the market maybe at the time were too small for them which is half of the market that we have right now. Also, the trend of people right now, the, the tour um, trend has decreased from owning 70% of the market in Vietnam. They lower into now only 30 to 40%. So the trend of people going to Vietnam on individuals has just like increased over the year, over the, the last five years. So I believe they have their reasons to switch their models. Maybe the pressure of money, pressure of time, pressure of making money. But we have proved to ourselves that this model is has a demand in the market and is working and is working with us. All we need to do is really go to a bigger plan, which is the, the, the market and scale up in the next couple of years. So, so how many transactions do you have? Monthly basis? Uh, about 150 transactions uh, per and month. You have 400 active uh, local buddies? Yes. So, question is what is your supply strategy? How do you keep them engaged in your platform? Um, yeah, so the way we keep them engaged is by a rewarding system. Um, and we also make them feel really special. So, for example, when they um, have up to a certain amount of bookings, say 10, then they will they will earn more money from each transaction. So we'll take our margin down a little bit because our margin is 25%, so we have a little bit of wiggle room with that. So going forward, we make them feel special by allowing them to earn more money through our platform. That's one of the main things we use. And uh, do you run into problems when people book a local buddy, but uh, that person is not available on that day? Um, yes, we do, and we're trying to fix that um, issue as well. Um, I, I see that as a challenge: um, how to uh, make our, you know, technologies better uh, day by day. Because that it just come down to um, the the way that we in interact with them and make them make sure that they choose the right date um, that they available on the calendar, uh, pretty much every day, every week, or every month, so that we will eliminate those chances. However, the, the travelers were allowed to book up to five local buddies at one time for one day. So they can book and the money will not be charged until um, you know, the local buddies will have 24 hours to accept that uh, transaction. So that is another way that we can balance it out. So I think the key thing is, um You need to have a very clear strategy on the supply side. Yes. To make sure that you have good supply. Yeah. And then it's it's good that from the last time we met, you you know, you pivot your model to focus more on the Korean market. So yeah. I think that's a good way to start. So you know, pick a and pick an entry market that you can really serve well yeah. and build your competitive advantage by locking the supply side. Yeah. Um, so for now, uh, we pretty much saying that we are the, the prior, like, uh, pioneer in the travelers uh, from Korea to Vietnam. And this, the, the people going to Vietnam, last year it was 3 million, but this year it was projected to be 4 to 5 million already. So if we own this niche market, we can move forward towards to Japan, Taiwan, and other niche market and owning them. So we don't focus on like trip me, English uh, speaking, so we, we kind of, you know, be along with them. Link to that point, right? You see, uh, you have multiple languages, so this is, you depend on the buddies or you use some virtual technologies to help with languages, uh, and you know, barrier and also, uh, how to say, the information linked to the tourism. So, uh, when we say uh, we are multi language platform, it's mainly on the body, like the person that can speak the language. It can either be like a local who can speak like the foreign language or an expat that can like know the local culture really well.